Mention the name Roland Leong to any hardcore drag racing fan, and you can almost see the tire smoke boiling off his memories. Better known as the Hawaiian in the 60s and 70s, Leong was a two-star general in the top fuel wars, owning both a dragster and a funny car. He always drove hard and was known for having quick, bad, and beautiful machines. Well, in the 90s, the Hawaiian is back, and this time with a new team, he's quicker and faster than ever. In the world of funny cars, the goal is speed. And no funny car has ever ripped up the track like this one. Driven by Jim White and owned by drag racing legend, Roland Leon. All the drivers and teams and different people have all, would all love to know what we're doing. What they're doing is pushing funny car speeds to heights never reached before. And every time they set a new mark, they seemed to break it before the ink in the record books was dry. For Roland, it's just another record to break. I don't see where there's a limit, because I've been hearing that for over 25 years, and so far I haven't seen it, so maybe there isn't any. With victories in five national events, 1991 was a great year for Roland, perhaps the best, since he first discovered the drag strip. Doing in high school, everybody messed with cars, and that's how we, I kind of got started. In 1962, Roland moved from his native Hawaii to California, Drag racing was no longer just high school fun. It was his life. I got my first car, Dragster, gas Dragster that I ran through old 62, 3, 4. Did a top few Dragster. Uh, tried to drive it, crashed it at Long Beach. Decided I didn't want to drive no more. Uh, at the time, uh, Keith Black was there. He built the engine. Perdon was there because we became friends through Keith Black. And Keith said, well, I don't think you ought to drive anymore. I'm going to give up running my car. Why don't you hire Perdone and uh, you guys go racing? They did, and they promptly won the 1965 Winter Nationals. They were just warming up. That year we won probably 95 of our match races, which we raced all the big guys in, like Garlitz and Coletta, and people that we just read about or heard about, uh, end up at the US Nationals and won that event too. As the list of achievements grew longer, Roland became more competitive. Each victory was a bigger and bigger thrill. I would have to say one of the, the biggest would happen actually this year. Uh, when we were fortunate enough to win the Big Bud Shootout and the U.S. Nationals the same, you know, the same weekend. The site was Indianapolis. The man to beat was funny car world champ John Force. I had confidence in the car that if we didn't mess up ourselves or make a mistake, that the car should outrun him, which it did. The double victory propelled Roland's driver, Jim White, into an exclusive club. Only Don Perdome and Kenny Bernstein had done it before, but Jim had been confident. He knew Roland's car packed a punch. This car can run teens at 290. We've already proven that. We've done it across the country. This year, this car's run in the teens eight different times at five different locations across the country. For Roland and his team, that weekend was the pinnacle of a nine-year relationship with Hawaiian Punch. With that sponsorship and the work of crew chief Wes Cerny, he turned his car into the speed machine that had drag racers talking. And doing a lot of that talking was John Forbes. He's called us from the Crazy Punch Bowl to the Dodge from Hell this year. I mean, we've been everything from John Force's mouth. But the success of this car isn't due to mere hardware. There's a spirit of confidence that ties it all together, and it starts at the top. Roland Leong is a different kind of owner. He literally grew up in the sport, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. 
At times, it's almost as if he and his car are attached. He stays with it to the last possible moment, separated only when the lights hit green. It's a total love of the sport that Don Perdome first saw when he went to work for Roland back in 1965. The neat part about Roland is uh, he's a great guy. He's a lot of fun. He enjoys the sport. He just uh, he doesn't quit. Quit? It's not a word in Roland Leong's vocabulary. Not as long as he has his eyes on the one goal that has eluded him, the World Championship. We're really coming on at the end of the year, setting records. The car's really fast, getting consistent. But we had, a lot, we had problems uh, early in the year, which hurt us as far as the points. But he's happy that he's still in the game, a survivor through good times and bad. And even without that championship, you know this Hawaiian has found his personal paradise, not on some sandy beach, but on the asphalt quarter mile. What's been the best for me, I think, is being able to do what I always dreamed of doing as a kid. And here I am, uh, uh, 25 years later, doing the same thing and making a living at it. When the world's most prestigious...